hungry right now, okay? I ran over here, 10 miles I ran to get to Crazy Pita. I'm at the district, in the heart of Green Valley, and I am craving Mediterranean cuisine off the strip. Crazy Pita. Crazy Lebanese lady. <laughs> so let's go in there and eat something scrumptious and delicious and juicy and mouthwatering. And we've got Mehdi in there, the owner, and he's gonna walk us through some of those fabulous dishes. You have been voted one of the, what was it, the 100? We ranked number 96 in the top 100 fast casual restaurants in the nation. And, and it's really like Mediterranean cuisine. Uh, we started this concept about two and a half years ago. Um, crazy pita rotisserie and grill and we kept many things in mind while we designed this concept. One of them was uh, the, the menu. We kept it uh, really short and simple. We kept the prices as well yeah, in, uh, in mind. And we tried to serve familiar food uh, with Mediterranean flavors. So Mehdi is going to take us back there and he's going to show us one of his specialties. the menu today, we're going to prepare for you a family style dinner. We have a mixture of steak, chicken and shrimp. All these meats have been marinated with authentic Mediterranean spices. Maybe that explains how tender, tender and juicy they are. How love marinated. Also the quality of the product. We use fresh chicken, never frozen, and on a daily basis. We use a great filet mignon in our skewers. Uh, most of the beef comes from uh, Michigan corn fed. Uh, it keeps it nice, fresh, and tender and moist. What we have done on the grill, we're going to move to this side and we're going to prepare some uh, mezzas. Here, for instance, we have hummus. And what I like about your hummus is it's not too thick. I mean, garbanzo bean, it's a dry chickpea. It's a dry bean. Beans are usually dry. You really have to like marinate them. And, but the hummus here is so juicy. Uh, we have also an eggplant dip. Uh, we roast our own eggplants. And then we dip it with a little bit of tahina sauce, which is sesame paste with some garlic, lemon, and olive oil. And these are roasted red bell peppers. We roast them in-house. Um, we make everything in-house. and marinate it with a little bit of olive oil, vinegar, and of course, we use uh, Mediterranean spices. That's the one thing about Mediterranean cuisine. The color is so vibrant and fresh, and you really taste the, the freshness of the food. You don't overpower it with too many seasonings, too many spices, just the perfect amount. That's what I love. Perfecto. Hello. So, Megan, you use this pita. This is like the flatbread pita, like a Greek pita. A lot of the Greeks use this type of pita. And there's the other pita, which is like a pocket pita that you can also use as a wallet. Yeah, we use here we find it easier to use the flat pita. It's easy to roll in a sandwich and it doesn't get very hard. It is soft, fluffy. Soft like a pillow. I mean, it really is so soft. I love it because you can't resist this bread. So our um, our meat's been grilling the shrimp, the chicken, and oh, the aromas. I can't wait to just eat. One thing about here, the service is fast, go, 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 and I can't wait to get my fork and knife and dig into this. It's been Oh my gosh, look, everything looks fabulous. I'm so excited. Thank you. This looks so delicious. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. I'm going to start with a piece of the chicken right off the skewer. And you've got like a children's plate too. Yeah. Like Absolutely. You can do a skewer of chicken with some french fries. It's chicken on a stick with some french fries. Oh, and look, look at that. Plum. This shrimp is so succulent, so juicy. And it's perfectly cooked. And they're very consistent. And what I like to do is I like to dip my shrimp in that hummus. 
Mmm. Mmm. Moroccans are famous for couscous. This is this couscous right here. And he may, I think, I'm pretty sure it's in chicken broth. I've asked him before. They're different shapes or different sizes. Some small, some medium, some large. This looks more like a smaller brain. And mm, I like to take a little bit of that hummus and get one of these delicious, look at that juicy roasted red pepper and just stick it right on there and mm. <laughs> That is delicious. I'm in Mediterranean, crazy pita heaven. Crazy girl, crazy pita. Did you try the fries? Mehdi, Mehdi, Mehdi. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Crazy Pita, I'm telling you, it's so good. I'm so full, so satisfied. Thank you again for a delicious, delicious There's meal. one tradition that we're starting with this, with all our episodes, is you have to do the RoboCop. Woo, Mehdi! I'll do it with you. We'll be like two crazy pita robocoppers. <laughs> Don't forget to mention that's not the pita that's crazy. It's the owner that's crazy. But really, the concept, I love it. The food, I love it. The flavors, the people in here, Brian, everybody in here is always so gracious, so wonderful. And the parking right here, perfect. Oh, there's more to babies than just Elvis of however much. I want people to know that we have great restaurants outside of the Strip. Whether you're a local, whether you're an out-of-towner, we've got exciting, delicious, fresh, wonderful, fabulous restaurants off the Strip. Every ethnicity. I mean, it's all out there. And Vegas has these places, and I'm going to bring them to you. Today, our first stop was Crazy Pita. There's that lady again. <laughs> Next stop, we're going to Pat Thai. I'll see you then. Oh, I gotta go, because I need to get my ice cream and I need it. Look like that when I used to tan in my teens. Once you are sure.